Hi everyone. From today, we are going to start our Python programming course. In this course, you will be learning Python programming from very scratch to advanced level. After completing this course, you will have a good hands-on experience on Python programming. This is the introductory video of this course. In this video, we will be seeing what are the topics that we are going to cover in this entire course. So let's get started. Firstly, we will have a quick and generous introduction to Python. Then we will be setting and installing our Python in Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code is an IDE which helps us to write code. And we are going to write our Python code inside Visual Studio Code. Then we will proceed and write our first Python program and run it. Then second module consists Python basics. In this module, we will be seeing Python syntax and comments, what are variables and its data types, what is typecasting and how to take input from a user, what are the operators in Python. In third module, we will be covering working with strings and data structures. We will, in this module, we will see strings and string methods, lists, tuples, sets, dictionaries. These are the popular data structures in Python. Then in next module, we will be cover control flows, which includes conditional statements like if, else if, and its various types, loops, for loop, while loop, and wake and continue keywords. In next module, we will be learn about functions and file handling. In this module, we will be learn how to define and call a function what are the parameters and return type values, file handling, how to read and write files using which statement. Which statement is also used for file operations we will be seeing in, the, in this module. Then modules and error handling. In this module, we will learn about how to import and use modules, how we can create our own modules, exception handling with try and accept block. Then Pythonic features. In this module, you will be learn what are list comprehensions, what are enumerate and zip functions, lambda functions, map, filter, and reduce. Then we will proceed towards object oriented programming, that is OOPS. In this module, we learn about classes and objects, attributes and methods, and inheritance and method overriding. During this entire course, we will create Python projects, which include calculator app, guessing game, to-do list, and many other projects as well. What are the learning outcomes from this course? By end of this course, you will be able to write Python program confidently, understand core programming concepts, solve small programming problems, and automate simple tasks. Then, since you have a hands-on experience on Python basics, you can cover the advanced topics as well. So this is all about the introductory video. Let's get started 